For this week's video, we're going to take a different look at Google Hangouts. Last week I showed you the app that you could add. Now we're going to look at the web page. And to do that, we're going to go to hangouts.google.com. Now you don't have to have the app installed to get to this web page as long as you're signed in to uh, your Google account on a uh, on the computer that you're using you'll be able to access this web page so over here I've got my recent contacts and just like with the app I can type a person's name email or phone number up here to start a conversation with them um, uh, you can use Google Hangouts to make phone calls to parents to businesses anywhere you just type in the phone number and it will start calling them. You will of course have to have a microphone on your computer which if you're using a laptop it probably already has one built in. If you're using a desktop you'll need to buy a microphone. Uh, when you do call them however it shows up as an unknown phone number so you know, be sure that they they know to expect your call. Some people block unknown numbers by default. Um, I can also do that down here using these three buttons. We have video call, which is a video call, a phone call for calling phones, and then just messaging. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a conversation with myself. And I'm just going to send myself a message just to make sure it's working. Yep, it just popped up on my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video call and just show you a couple of things that I didn't show you last week. So I'm going to start the video call. And I'm going to mute my mic. And there. All right, so I've muted the mic so we won't get a feedback on here. Um, Turn that on. There we go. Okay, so now you can see me in both windows. So over here we've got some uh, options that I didn't show you last week. Uh, a big one that's really handy is this one right here, Screen Share. So I'm going to click that. And what I can do is I can um, click this. Actually, I'm not going to click that one because it might just freak out. Uh, I'm going to click my second screen, my, my uh, projector, and click that. And then you can see down here, this is what my phone is seeing right now. And if I look over at my phone, I can see my presentation on my phone. So I'm sharing my computer screen with this person on that I am calling. So if you um, want to do a video call but want to show somebody something, you can use that to show them. Um, it's really handy for like doing uh, computer diagnostic like if you're having computer trouble and you call somebody you can actually show them what is on your screen. Uh, YouTube I don't really mess with but I believe you can watch a YouTube video together. Uh, Google Effects, turn that on. Okay, so this uh, has some little features over here. And what this will do is this will put it on my screen, which is what y'all see uh, down here in the, in the bottom right corner. This is what my phone is seeing. So if I come up here, I can put a pirate hat on myself. So if I move myself down, let's see if I can make this. There we go. So this is from my laptop. And if I move my head around, I've got a little like that and I can add some hearts and other things uh, and then there's other types not just headwear give myself some glasses or an eye patch and there we go <laughs> uh, so this is just some fun stuff to play around with um, all kinds of things in here that you can mess around with and that, that is under effects, which is, of course, there it is right there. 
Um, other things, if you go down here to the three dots and click on draw, I can draw on the screen. And you can see now it's animated and it actually stays with my face. So let me go back to this and turn all that stuff off. There we go. And let me throw that away. All right, so uh, I can do this. And now that I'm done, it actually tracks that position. So even though I'm moving my head around, it keeps it on top of myself. So again, that's just some fun stuff to turn to uh, play around with. Uh, the Hangout Toolbox looks like it is blocked on on our accounts. But anyway, uh, that's some of the cool stuff you can do. Um, I can actually chat with multiple people if I click the Invite People button here. Um, I can send out a link to this video chat so I could email this to somebody else. They would click the link and they open it up and it will join our chat. Um, I can also just send out, just like sharing um, a document, I can type in email addresses here. Um, and this works outside of campus too. I can invite people in that are not uh, a part of our group. Um, um, also, if you have a personal Gmail account, uh, it's got all this built in. This, this is all a part of Google. And uh, it's free to use, so you can use this to make you know long distance phone calls for free, uh, video chat with family members across the country, all for free.